get the first point of the match on the board. And on paper, you'd certainly have to favour the more experienced team. on the board and there is a big contingent of Korean support here in the stadium standing up waving their flags aloft that will certainly help Choi and Kim out there on the court goes just wide he just sort of snatched at that return Well left. Pressure from Ran Kiredi up at the net, that big, powerful arm, peppering the Korean pair with those difficult shots to play against. That shuttle going low. India going long. Korea have a two point advantage, although it's very early stages in this final. Neither team settling into a rhythm just yet. These have been quite short rallies, a couple of errors creeping in. It's a tense place to be, court number one in a gold medal match at the Asian Games. Fantastic work from the Korean pair, just forcing Shetty into that area. Those shots coming so quickly across the court. Rising high, getting great height up in the air. Shetty just rushing the return and able to make it count. Balletic. Shetty with real grace across the court. Oh. 
Lethal at the net. Kim. The Indian pair looked to have the court well covered. But Kim found a way through them both. The lead has increased. India going long but challenging. The line judge ruled it out. But India were quick to put their hands up. They were at the opposite end of the court. Hard to really tell from where they were sitting, or where they were standing rather. But they're having a go anyway. Well, it was a futile challenge for India. Korea extend their lead. India reducing the deficit. Kim looking like he wanted to change shuttlecocks there, but I think the umpire was having none of that. It was a particular shot that Kim hesitated before playing, and his reaction speed was fantastic once he committed to the shot. But India came out of that rally the better team, and they ended up winning that one. knocked Troy off his feet. Shetty with a real statement shot there. And Kim Diet not taking kindly to being on the back foot here. Oh, nicely done. what we've seen India do all week. Big smashes, just powering past their opponents, just peppering them with those big shots that eventually the pressure gets too much. And Karedi finishes off going right between the two Koreans.
Well, at the interval, it is Korea who have the advantage, leading India, the number two seeds, by 11 points to nine. India have given away a few points like that with wayward shots. Not finding space in the court. Number of gifts for their opponents, and that explains in part why they are ahead. India just haven't been consistent yet. Oh, but that's what we know they can do. attack there, India forced into defending, unable to do so, and Korea completely playing India at their own game. India, of course, haven't been able to play their own game yet. We normally see them very fast, very aggressive, but they just haven't been able to find that groove yet. It's Korea who started the stronger of these two teams, not deterred by the gulf in world rankings. What a way to win it. Shetty. With the winning shot going straight through the legs of Choi. At the other end of the court. taking a moment to try and cool down, towel off, but the umpire wants them back on the court. She wants this match to continue. She doesn't want to get a break in momentum. I'm not sure that Korea won't want to either. Having got that slight lead, but that was a great point from India. Choi with the four big smashes from the back of the court, but he can't get the fourth one away. It was good defense from Rankaredi. He didn't need to defend the fourth one. Did well to leave that one, just let it go. Wasn't within bounds at all.
Oh. That was Choi at the back of the court with the big pressure. But that return. Completely wrong footed him. It was going right into his body, and that's a hard shot to play against. Couldn't get the racket away. Good point for India. They draw level. Is this where their experience starts to show? Is this where they start to settle in and find a rhythm? Disappointed not to have got anything out of that rally because they were certainly the better team. Shetty in particular retrieving a couple of seemingly impossible shots, just unable to make that decisive move. It was great play from the Koreans, proving to be more than a match for the number two seed here. Already looked almost statuesque there when he was just watching that shot glide past him. I think he obviously thought it was going wide, opted not to play it, but paid the price for that decision. India having drawn level, now find themselves behind once again. Nicely done. Kim with really good vision there, spotting that space. Well, the point was set up by Choi, and then Kim sees his opportunity to get involved at the very end and finish off that rally, restoring the lead for Korea. and Kim just not able to shake off this Indian pair. They have been ahead throughout this opening game. They've been level, but not really able to open up a massive gap and put clear daylight between themselves and their opponents. India, likewise, once they've caught up, unable to make that count.
great teamwork from the Koreans. Kim at the back with all that pressure before Choi gets involved at the end. What a rally that was, what a contest in India draw level again, but credit has to go to Kim of Korea who played a number of shots while sitting on his backside, top marks for effort. But India though, now draw level again, but can they make it count? The last time they were level, they were unable to keep pace with the Korean pair. But can they do it this time? As we get towards the end of this opening game, no real clear advantage yet. It's been Korea in the lead for most of it. They've been unable to really stretch away. Players just taking the chance to towel off. It's pretty intense out there. It can get pretty sticky. And the Binjiang Gymnasium is at capacity. So it's pretty warm out there for those players. India ahead. Can they make that count? Well, the instruction was to return the shuttlecock. He didn't. He earned himself a yellow card. And she is running a tight ship out there on court number one. Game points for India, two game points. And this is so disappointing for the Republic of Korea. If they come away from nothing from this game. And it 
it's India who take the lead after the opening game. They come from behind to wrap it up, 21 points to 18. The Republic of Korea will be disappointed by that. That's really crushing for the team who led throughout most of that opening game, who had the advantage throughout, who were the better team throughout most of it. But it's India who wrap up that opening game, coming from three points down, overturning the deficit to lead by 21 points to 18. Well, it will be fascinating to see the response from the Republic of Korea. Having outplayed their higher ranked opponents throughout much of that opening game, they now find themselves having lost it and having to make up significant ground. This is a must-win game now for the Republic of Korea if they are to keep their hopes of a gold medal alive. India, how will they respond? Will they kick on now or will they be pegged back by this dogged Republic of Korea team? This is game two. Good point from Korea. Long footing the Indian team. made that look normal. Korea looked asleep. They weren't, didn't look to be aware of what was going on, where the shuttlecock was, and they were both sort of standing around almost, not expecting that. relentless pressure from Shetty. Looked like he wanted to punish his opponents, hammering those 
Smash shots down across the court. Joy was on the receiving end of all of it. Eventually, Shetty with the change of direction. Catching Kim by surprise. Oh, that's a well-won point. Korea now with the pressure. You got the sense that it was only a matter of time before India closed out that point. The Koreans having to defend. It was very much India in attack mode. Eventually forcing the mistake. The lead has now increased by three. This is the biggest point of difference between these teams at the minute. In game one it was Korea. Who had the three point advantage at most. India now have that three-point advantage. Can they hang on to it, though? Despair for Choi, who watched that one land. It was such a playable shot as well, and it was just a bit of a misjudgment. Clearly thought that it was going wide. It did, but not by too much. Big smash from Chet, who looks over towards his coaches in celebration. He's looking for some reassurance. Korea, who got both of the Indians out of position. They were both going over towards their left-hand side. Korea then able to exploit that bit of space that was left open. Well, 
to push that shot down. He was in a crouching position. Instead of being able to lift it up, he was supposed to play the shot downwards, but that's because he was not standing in a way that allowed him to play that shot how he would have liked. Didn't have the time to react to adjust his positioning. Oh, what a frantic rally. Goes the way of the Korean pair. Well, Ran Coretti had a moment of absolute brilliance during that rally, playing the shot with the racket behind his leg on the other side, but crucially, it's the point for Korea. Doesn't matter how brilliant you play during the rally, it's how you finish it. Already was in no mood to get drawn into a rally there. Those big, powerful shots that we've seen from him throughout this week. He's used this big, strong right arm to great effect. He's done that time and time again. fails to get his shot across Seven, approaching the interval <coughs> he must not be late says the umpire she wants players promptly on court to continue <laughs> India combined well there. It was a big, powerful smash from Rankaredi, followed up by the gentle lift over the net from Shetty. Korea with the error, and the point goes to India. They lead by four at the break. 11 points to seven. Oh, oh, oh. 
This has been a great start for Korea after that interval. Three consecutive points for Kim and Choi, making up ground on the Indian pair. A good response after the restart. Shetty. That was fantastic. What a shot that was. And that left Choi completely defenseless. Shetty moving across court with the big smash. Choi facing the wrong way. He gets a racket behind his back in an attempt to play the shot. It was absolutely futile. He was out of position and the shot was coming just too fast towards him. Combining really well there. Went for ready with the error. And the net unable to get the shot away. And Choi and Kim have reduced that deficit. Four points behind at the interval. They've won five points after the break. India just two. Sheffy celebrates the India coaches on their feet. An important point. India will be wondering how on earth they've managed to let that four-point lead close. Looking to open up that gap again. Shake off this Korean pair. We're completely undeterred by the golf and world rankings here, by the magnitude of this match that they're playing in. A vocal presence. Celebrating that point. 
with their charges, who will now have an advantage of three points, they will peg back from four. Oh, well, that was lucky for India, who had to play most of that rally with just one player on the court. Shetty found himself essentially standing next to the umpire. Couldn't get back in because he didn't want to disrupt Rankaredi's momentum there. Didn't want to get in the way of his opponent playing. So I had to just stand and be an observer. Eventually it was Korea with the error. Went wide, but that was a, a fortunate turn of events for India, who now have their four-point lead back. They'll make that five. And is this the point at which India begin to pull away? Coming towards the business end of this opening game. Suddenly that five-point gap looks quite daunting for Kim Choi. Oh, but that's a good response. Five points looks unsurmountable. Three less so. Korea once again closing the gap. Well, that was well left by Ranka Reddy. He was poised and ready to play the shot, but instead just watched it go long. And yet, not having to exert themselves at all to win that point. Oh, that is a shame. That's a bad point to give away.
match points, gold medal points now for India. First match point saved. India have four more chances to get this one over the line. Champions. Sadwik Saraj, Ranikaredi, Chirag Chetty, the Commonwealth Games champions. Bronze at the World Championships and now gold at the Asian Games. They are the best men's doubles team in Asia. The number two seeds defeating Choi Sokyu and Kim Won Ho of the Republic of Korea. 21 18, 21 16. India get the gold. Adding to the silver medal they won in the men's team competition just a few days ago. They now add gold to that collection. What a week for India. Asian Games gold medalists. Big congratulations at the net. What a pair Choi Seo-gu and Kim won her were. Leading throughout much of that opening game. More than a match for the pair ranked 12 places higher than them in the world rankings. But just look at the celebrations. I'm sure there will be big parties in India tonight. Ren Karedi and Shetty looking in the party mood already. Ren Karedi, Chirag, Shetty. Worthy winners of the gold medal at the Asian Games. Shetty throws his racket into the crowd. That is a fantastic souvenir for one lucky recipient here in Anjou. I'm sure we will see much more of Choi Sok Yu and Kim Won Ho of the Republic of Korea. Fantastic competitors. Enjoyed the badminton out there, and they will be back, and they will be better. They're ranked number 15 in the world, the 31st seeds in Hangzhou, and they made it all the way to that gold medal match. India, men's doubles champions here in Hangzhou, defeating the Republic of Korea in straight games. Presenters, these are the medalists for the men's doubles final here in Hangzhou. There's the Indian pair there of Satsurai and Kiredi and Shirak Shetty, as well as the Republic of Korea team of Choi Sogyu and Kim Won Ho have just finished their match. They've only just caught their breath and now they're out. Back on court number one, the scene of their triumph, ready to receive their medals.
The bronze medalist, the Malaysian team, Fang Fang Aaron Chia and Sawuk Yi of Malaysia. They played the eventual winners, India, in the semi final. Ruik So and Teng Fang Aaron Chia going down in straight games to the eventual winners. 21 17, 21 12 was the outcome of that match. Malaysians put up a decent fight. It was a very good semi-final indeed. Eventually, India proving just too strong. And Chia and So certainly provided some good entertainment. Bronze medalist, Chinese Taipei. And joining them on the podium are the pair from Chinese Taipei also taking the bronze Li Yang and Wang Qilin bronze medalists here at the 19th Asian Games in Hangzhou Just seen this pair in action. Choi Sokyu and Kim Won Ho of the Republic of Korea. They made a fantastic start to that final. They were quickly out of the blocks, really causing problems for their Indian opponents. Taking the silver here, conceded with that number 15 in the world. So they certainly outplayed their world rankings to get to the final and take that silver medal. Sadwick Saraj, Ranki Reddy and Shirag Shetty. They were seeded two here. But they have turned out to be the best men's doubles team here in Hangzhou. Bronze at the World Championships, gold at the Commonwealth Games, but now this is the biggest title of their careers so far. They are the Asian Games champions 
here in Hangzhou. Thank you. 